Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in, wa man tamasaka bi sunnatihi ila yawmi ddin. Thumma amma ba'd. Bidnillahi ta'ala, over the course of the next few uh, sittings, Bidnillah, I want to go over a topic that is of extreme importance and it is a topic that Inshallah Ta'ala will break it down into three parts. And those parts, they are as follows. The first will be an introduction, which we're going to take now a light introduction in to see how much we can get from it. The second part of it will be analyzing some proofs and evidences that obligate the Muslims to follow the Sunnah. And the third part will be focusing on some key characteristics of the Sunni Salaf. Naam. So without uh, further delay, let us look at, when we speak about Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, it is important for us to understand men whom, who are they? Who is Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah? Ma'am? Because in order for us to be from amongst them, then we have to know who they are. This is clear. And without knowing who they are, then it will be impossible for us to be from amongst them. The Shaykh Sulaiman al Rahili, Ta'ala, he mentions as he brings the chapter heading or the heading, he says, Ta'rib, the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The definition of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So we know who are the people of the Sunnah and the Jama'ah. Who are they? Naam. He says, Sahaba to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whom Ratsu Ahl Sunnah, Wal Jama'a, Wa Ala Matahum, Wa Ala Matuhum, Nam, that the Sahaba, men, the Sahaba, of the companions of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa Rabbi Allah ta'ala anhum. They are the head of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'a, meaning what? After the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they are the sign of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. For whom? Salaf al Ummah. And they are the Salaf of this Ummah. Naam. For whom? Mabtada al Khayr. Ba'd al Rasul. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they are the sources of good after the Messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa man ba'dahum. And who else? Wa man ba'dahum. And those who are after them. Men al Muslimin. From the Muslims, Naam, Yuzanuna Bihim, Samir, Ahl Sunnah, Naam, then at the head of them, first and foremost, after the Prophet, وسلم, then they are the companions of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or Rabbi Allah Ta'ala Anhum, Ajma'in. And all of the Muslims that come after them, ma'am, all of the Muslims that come after them, then they are weighed by way of the Sahaba. What is our frame of reference as relates to the Muslims who come after them? It is what? That we weigh them in accordance to the Sahaba. وَيُعْرَفُ حَقُّهُمْ مِنْ بَعْطُلِهِمْ بِمِزَانْ صُحَابَةَ الرَّسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ so we will know who was upon that which is correct, the truth that is with them from the falsehood that is with them by weighing them according to the scale of the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. فَمَنْ كَانَ عَلَىٰ عَقِيدَتِهِمْ And I want you to pay attention to this. Because in order for us to be from Ahlul Sunnati wa Jama'ah, then it is binding that we adorn ourselves with certain characteristics. Ma'am? So if you want to be from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, then it is incumbent that we have to be upon what they were upon as relates to their aqidah. As relates to their aqidah, their creed, their belief. وَصَارَ عَلَىٰ طَرِيقَتِهِمْ وَمِنْ هَاجِهِمْ And we have to be upon their way. And we have to be upon their minhaj. Ma'am? We have to be upon their way. And we have to be upon their minhaj. Naam. So if an individual does this, 
whoever is upon the aqidah of the Sahaba, and he's upon the way of the Sahaba, and upon the methodology of the Sahaba, then they are Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Then they are the people of the Sunnah and the, and the Jama'ah. Naam? So again, whoever is upon the, the Aqidah, and whoever is upon the way, and whoever is upon the methodology of the Sahaba, then they are Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. We say that again. Whoever is upon the Aqidah, and upon the way, and upon the minhaj of the Sahaba, then they are Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Now I didn't repeat that those times just for repeating it those times. I repeated it those times so I can give you a pop quiz. So now we're going to go back, I'm going to say, you want to fill in the blanks. Not rhetorical, I'm looking for answers. Sa? You with me? You ready? Play. Whoever is upon the way of the Sahaba in their one what? Huh? Whoever is upon the way of the Sahaba in their aqidah and in and in their it's translated oh mannerism behavior or methodology and upon their way then who is he? He's from who? Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So the person is. Not upon their aqidah. Can we say he's not Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah? No. If he's not upon their methodology, can we say he's Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah? No. Why? Because everything has its identifying characteristics. And if you don't come with those characteristics, you can't be from it. Correct? Give me an example. A mechanic. What are some of his characteristics? He's knowledgeable about cars. Right? He knows how to fix them. He knows how to diagnose a problem as it relates to cars, and so on and so on. Okay? But I come, I say, brothers, I'm a mechanic. Okay? Right? You say, okay, what's your field of expertise? I say, I can diagnose based upon the symptoms what ailment a person may have in his body. I know about uh, medicine. So I can prescribe medicine for a particular ailment, right? I, I know how to conduct checkups, right? For the vitals and you know, so on and so forth, to see the general health of an individual and so on and so forth. Now, I know how to do that, okay? And so on and so forth. And I carry a stethoscope and you know, whatever, huh? wear a white jacket, coat, whatever, yeah? I'm a mechanic, right? No. Why? Who I describe? A doctor. Why? Because a doctor has his characteristics and a mechanic has what? His characteristics. Likewise, a person come and they make a claim, but if they don't have the characteristics to back up that claim, then their claim is erroneous. Just like if I said I'm a doctor. Then you say, what do you know about medicine? Nothing. What do you know about the ailment? Nothing. What about the pain in my knee? I don't know. What, what, what medicine I can take? I have no idea. What I should do for it, I have no clue. You're going to say what? Man, you ain't a doctor. Right? I'm wasting your time, correct? I said, no, I don't, uh, no. Uh, but, you know, if the computer's broke, I can fix it. You say, but my knee hurt, not my computer. So you're not the man I'm looking for. Why? Because you don't have those characteristics. So this is very important. Because it's not a sufficient that an individual is coming and say and make a, you know, a claim, or he, or he brings a, you know, a statement and saying, I'm so-and-so. If you don't have the characteristics of so-and-so, then you're not them. No matter how many times you can say it a million times, no matter how many times you say it, it doesn't make it so. Right? Just like this here, I can say this microphone, you know, it got a big top, you know, then it gets skinny and it goes down, you know, it looks like an ice cream cone. This ice cream. It's ice cream. I say it a million times over. Is it ice cream? No, it's still a microphone. Don't change it to ice cream just because I keep saying it. So this is very important. If we're going to, yeah, if we truly want to be from Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah, then we have to learn. We have to learn. What it means to be Mahdi Sunnis and Jama'ah. So we have to learn what? The Aqidah. Correct? Now, we all know that Ahlul Sunnah, they are the ones whom the Prophet like in the Hadith of Iftiraq, the Shaykh he mentioned inside of the Tanamik, ma'am, is they are the ones who want to be safe. They're going to be safe from what? From the hellfire. Who? Everybody want to be safe from the hellfire, correct? Yeah, no doubt. Okay, so when we look at the world and we know that there are some very 
tremendous and troubling problems in the world. A lot of problems. Drug abuse, methamphetamine overdoses, abuses, so on and so forth. Prostitution, alcoholism, yeah, I mean, to the end of the murder, crime, theft, stealing, whatever. All these things, all these problems out there. Right? So naturally, you want to escape these problems. Correct? You want to escape these problems. But then there are other problems that an individual is faced with. Being punished in his grave. Being a loser, Yom al Qiyam. Going to hell forever. All these are problems, right? Right. But if you had to prioritize which of these problems am I going to seek to escape first, which one is it? Huh? The hellfire, correct? Wait, that's like if I come at you and I got a scud missile, correct? So here are your choices. You got the scud missile, you got the 45, and you got the machete, correct? Which one are you going to run away from first? The missile, right? I'm going to hit you in one of these. Which are you going to run away from first? You're going to dodge first for the missile, correct? Right or wrong? Wait. After you, after you dodge the mission, what you want to look to dodge? The 45, correct? After that, what do you want to dodge? Then you want to look out for the knife, correct? Fight. So no one is debating, no one is arguing that there are a lot of problems that surround us. Socially. A lot of social problems. No one is debating that. And no one is saying neglect those. We have to get to those problems. The problems of homelessness, the problems of getting, you know, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Sin, transgression, prostitution, whatever the case is, we want to, we're going to deal with those things. Because it is not from our way, you know, to turn up our eyes and don't forget about that. No, we want to deal with those things as well. We do. But when we prioritize, we want to go after that which is what most important, most more detrimental to a people. You understand? I want you to keep this you know, uh, focus. I don't want you to Go to one extreme and not in, 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 in the light. If you're dealing with the individual, and I'm going to bring this full circle. Dealing with an individual, let's say, for example, they are a, 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 a heroin addict prostitute who's a Christian. Heroin addict, prostitute, Christian. What's the worst problem out of those three? Christian. Why? Because she's making shirk, or he's making shirk, right? That's the worst of the problems. So if you have to treat that person, what are you going to treat them for first? It's the shirk, right? And then those other things, you're going to get to them too. You're not going to just say, okay, now you, you, you're muwahid, sunni, this and that, stay being a prostitute, stay taking heroin. No, you're going to say, stop doing that and stop doing that. We're not going to turn a blind eye and say, no, he's certainly good now, right? No, what do you mean? Who says that? No one says that except an idiot. So we're not going to you know, even think like in those terms. You're going to deal with everything, correct? Play. So now, let's bring this back now. It's for us now. Because we're the ones that sick. We're the ones that sick. We're the ones that got issues. When we look back at the definition of what it means to be from Ahl Sunni to what Jama'ah, what's one of the things that we got to have top on our list as relates to what we're going to be dealing with, looking at, is the Aqeedah. Is that we want to, we have to believe correctly. Ma'am, we have to believe correctly. And also what? The minhaj, because the aqeed and the minhaj, they go together. You can't separate one from the other. They go together. Okay? But, and then likewise, you know, our suluk, the way in which we interact, and so on and so forth, and that we stay away from yeah, the sins and the transgressions. But I don't want anyone to ever understand and to ever think that when it comes to sins and transgressions, that that's something that's light. Oh, we don't, we don't care about sins. We don't care about transgressions. No. That's not the way of Ahl Sunnah. The poet, the wise poet, he said, Khali Vanuba, Sagiraha, wa kabiraha. Naam, leave off the sin, the big of it and the little of it. Naam. Fahuwa tuqa, because that's taqwa. Yeah, and you had amanu. Huh? Taqwa haqqa tuqati. Oh, you who believe, fear Allah as you should be feared. You want to have taqwa? What's taqwa? What enters into the taqwa? Is that what? Leaving off the sins, the big of it and the little of it. Naam. Fahuwa tuqa. Wasna. Kamashin fawqi al-aru. The shawqi yahdharu ma yara. Wala tahriqanna sagheeratin. 
فإن ولا تحرقن صغيرة فإن الجبال من الحصى نعم leave off the the evil the uh, 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 leave off the sin the small of it and the bigger bit because that is piety and be like the one who is walking over a path that is laden with thorns he takes care and he's cautious of where he put his foot or where he steps he's caution of the uh, thorns ma'am and do not underestimate or belittle the sin because verily the mountains are comprised of rocks and pebbles you understand you bring enough rocks and pebbles it can overtake you if i put one grain of sand you say that's nothing i got it if i keep putting sand 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 and so is a billion grains of sand that's that's a problem isn't it right wait so this is clear so in any event it is incumbent and it is a must that what that we study and we learn and be so concerned for the aqidah and when it comes to aqidah what's at the top First and foremost, as relates to aqidah, is what? Is the belief in who? Who? Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How do we properly believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Right. So this is the affair of what? That belief that is linked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What, what do we call that? That's linked to the issue, the topic of? Huh? Uh, no, aqidah, na'am, but more specifically of what? Tawheed, na'am. This is the affair of Tawheed. So when we're looking at aqidah, first and foremost, what? We're going to focus in on Tawheed, na'am. So any individual who comes to you and tries to belittle Tawheed is an individual who you should run away from. Is an individual who they don't know what they're speaking about. Is an individual who is clearly astray, clearly misguided. Has clearly gone awry. Something is not right. Now, how would you belittle the affair of Tawheed? And at Tawheed, this is the cause, this is the reason that all of this is here. This is the reason that we've been created. Allah Ta'ala says, Oh, my Allah, to Jinnah will insa illa the Yahudu, a Yahino. Now, and I did not create the Jinn of the mankind except for them to worship me, a alone. Tawheed. So, any individual who goes to the extreme with their, uh, Belittling Tawheed because of social issues, then we know this person has gone to an extreme that we don't want no parts of it. Now, the other person who, 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 who says, let's focus on the Tawheed. Tawheed is important, the Aqid is important, the Minhad is important, but nobody care about those sins. So they belittling the sins. This is an individual who has gone to the other extreme. One far right, one far left. <clears throat> Shaitan don't care which extreme you go to. He don't care whether you go to this or you go to that because he know both of those things end in destruction. So he don't care. Choose this one, that one. They both lead to destruction. So any individual who comes to us and then they tell us, oh, don't worry about sins, then we notice the individual who, he doesn't know his, his foot from his, from his mouth, his toe from his tongue. Because this is not what? The way of the Sahaba. Did you ever find a Sahaba being uh, lackadaisical as relates to the sins? Or did you find that they were staunch as relates to staying away from sins? Didn't we find that from the Sahaba? They were staunch as relates to staying away from sins. They would rebuke the one who made the sin. Advise the one who made the sin. They wouldn't overlook it and say, ah, it's fine, it's just sin. No, sin was not acceptable. But at the same time, what was the stance of the Sahaba when it came to differing and, and, and with regards to Aqidah and the suit of the deen and so on and so forth and, and, and contradictions that came therein is that what? They didn't tolerate that neither because that is bid'ah. That which is contrary to the sunnah, this is bid'ah. They didn't tolerate bid'ah, they didn't tolerate sin. You understand? This was the way of Sahab, the middle course. And this is how we have to be if we want to be what? Salaf. This is how we have to be if we want to be Salaf. Because we have to be upon the aqidah of the, of the Sahaba. We have to be upon the minhaj of the Sahaba. We have to be upon the way of the Sahaba. Naam? And they didn't belittle this, nor they belittle that. You understand? Bid'ah was serious. Sins were serious. Rectifying the people's aqidah was serious. Rectifying their moral character also was serious. Naam? 
They strove to call the people to the correct aqidah, the correct minhaj, and also to the correct mannerisms. To have the correct adab, to have the correct character, and so on and so forth. All of this enters into what it means to be salafi. We'll, 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 we'll conclude. Sheikh bin Baz, rahimahullah ta'ala, na'am, he said, the salaf al salih, whom is sahaba? The salaf al salih, they are the sahaba. The sahaba in whom? Wa man salaka, sabilahu. And whoever is upon their way. Min at tabi'een, wa atba' tabi'een. From the tabi'een, and from the atba' of the tabi'een. From the tabi'een, wa atba' tabi'een. Na'am, wa tabi'een. From al hanafiya, wa al malikiya, wa al shafi'iya, wa al hanabiya. From those who are upon the way of the Sahaba, upon the way of the Salaf, from the Hanafis, the Malikis, the Shafi'is, and the Hanbalis. Naam. And this is a whole other topic, but it is important that this is mentioned because it is not an oxymoron to say that a person is Salafi Hanbali, Salafi Maliki, Salafi Shafi'i, Salafi Hanafi, so on and so forth. Not an oxymoron. You can be Hanafi and Salafi. Ma'am, Hanafi in your fiqh, in your usul, the fiqhi, and so on and so forth. But at the same time, it's Salafi. Ma'am, Maliki in, in, in the usul of fiqh, in your fiqh, and so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. But well, it's Salafi. Ma'am, because the intent is to follow and to stick to the truth. So you can have a madhab as long as you're following and sticking to the truth. And other than them, for those who are upon the haq, and those who stick to the book. And they, yeah, they, they stick to the noble book. And they stick to the pure sunnah. In the affair of Fibab at Tawheed. Uh, you see that? In the affair of Tawheed. Wa Fibab Asma'i wa Sifat. In the bab of the names and actions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in all of the affairs of the religion. All of the affairs of the religion. So that enters into what also when it comes to sin. What's the name of the sin? You're gonna, yeah, if we make the sin, then we make, then we make tawbah unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're not gonna belittle the sin and so on and so forth. Naam, we're going to have the right character, the right akhlaq, the right adab, the right mode of conduct, so on and so forth. All of these things are yani, uh, of extreme importance. In short, if we want to be Sunni Salafi, then this is what we have to be upon. Because Ahlul Sunni wal Jama'ah, they are who? They are the Sahaba, Naam, and those who are upon their way. In other words, let me rephrase this differently. Ahlul Sunni wal Jama'ah, men who? They are those who are upon that which the Prophet Sallallahu and his companions were upon. That's Ahl Sunni Zi Wal Jama'ah. Naam? Right. And the daleel for this is the hadith of iftirah that the Shaykh mentioned. Ta'ala. These are the people of the Sunnah. Bidni lahi ta'ala. Ah, matafi. We have the qadr. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.